You're getting to be a big boy. I'm just a kid who's four. Each day I grow some more. I like exploring. I'm Caillou. So many things to do. Each day is something new. I'll share them with you. I'm Caillou. My world is turning, changing each day. With mommy and daddy, I'm finding my way. Growing up is not so tough. Disappearing carrots. Teddy is hungry, Mommy. Rosie hungry, too. It's not quite ready. You'll have to wait a few more minutes. One minute, two minutes, three minutes. Is it ready now? Ready now? How about you go get two carrots from the garden? I'll prepare them into bunny carrots to munch while you're waiting. Yay! Bunny, bunny carrots! Caillou and Rosie went out to the vegetable garden where the carrots were growing. Bunny carrots! Caillou had picked carrots before and knew they were ready to be picked. This one. <laughs> then it was Rosie's turn to get a bunny carrot. Pull uh, oh, hard. <laughs> Rosie, Mommy has to wash them first. Because it was such a nice day, Mommy decided they should eat their lunch outside. Hey, you two need to wash those hands before you eat. Off you go. <coughs> Caillou couldn't find his bunny carrots anywhere. He wondered what had happened to them. Gone! I can't find them. This is very strange. I guess it's a mystery. The case of the disappearing carrots. <sighs> I'll pick some more for you. Caillou was really puzzled. Where could those carrots have gone? Mommy! Mommy! A rabbit! There's a rabbit! He has a carrot! Really? Are you sure it was a rabbit? Yes, a little white rabbit. There it is. Aww. You put... <laughs> Maybe the rabbit will come back. Caillou thought he spotted the rabbit's white tail in the garden. But there was no rabbit. Ellie! Caillou was so disappointed. He thought that he would never see that little white bunny again. Then he felt something pulling on his carrot. Look, Mommy! Oh, my goodness, it is a rabbit! Bunny! I told you I saw him. Oh. Be careful, <laughs> he doesn't know you. Snowball, so this is where you're hiding. Is this your rabbit, Mr. Hinkle? No, it's mine. I'm Nancy. I'm visiting my brother here, and somehow Snowball escaped from his cage. We've been looking everywhere for this little Bunny! guy. Would you like to pat Snowball? Oh, well, I guess that solves the case of the disappearing carrots. And I found a lost bunny. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Caillou marches on. I'm ready, Daddy. Thank you, Caillou. Caillou liked the sound of the wind in the leaves. Okay, let's go. It's such a nice day, I thought I'd walk you over to Clementine's instead of taking the car. Hi there, Caillou. Hi. Hello. Okay, Caillou, I'll see you at dinner time. Bye. Clementine is playing in her room. Why don't you go up and surprise her? But when he got to the top of the stairs, Caillou heard an unusual sound. 
What could it be? What is Billy doing? Billy's practicing on his tuba, so we have to be very quiet. Caillou and Clementine tried really hard not to make any noise. <laughs> hey, Caillou, come on in. I bet you've never seen a tuba before. Sure! To play, I blow in here like this. Caillou was very impressed. <laughs> I want to try. OK, but it's not as easy as it looks. was frustrated that he couldn't make sounds like Billy. It takes a lot of practice to be a musician. I play in a marching band at school. My friends are on their way here to practice. A marching band? Oh, yes, I've seen them. They march around and they play music at the same time. Look, all the music notes are written on the paper. That way, I remember what to play. Caillou was very impressed that Billy could play music by reading notes on a piece of paper. Play some more music, Billy, please. OK, but my friends will be here soon. Want to play a music game until they get here? I'll play a high note. And you try to reach for the ceiling. Or I play a low note. <laughs> And you try to go as low as you can, okay? Now you guys go up and down as I play. Look how far down I can go! <laughs> it's a high one! I can reach way up! Higher! <laughs> <laughs> Billy, your friends are in the backyard. Gotta go. See you guys later. Caillou was having a great time playing the high and low game. He didn't want to stop. I'll get it. Hey, I know. Ba, ba. Let me try. Clementine, Caillou was using that. Come on, you two. I've got an idea. Would you two like some cookies? Wah, wah. And would you like milk or juice? Wah, wah, wah. Did you say you wanted vinegar? Well, okay then. No! Milk, please! <laughs> ah, Billy's band is starting to practice. Maybe you can listen to them after your snack. Caillou couldn't wait to hear all the musicians play together. It's fascinated by the trumpet and the drum. We can play music, too. Sorry, but it's really difficult for the band to get together and practice. We have to be the only ones playing. Caillou was very disappointed. He wanted to play with the band. But we are going to practice marching. You can march with us if you want to. OK, let's practice the steps. One, two, three, four, and... Come on, Caillou, let's march. He said it's time for dinner soon. Time to go. Caillou wasn't ready to go home yet. He wanted to keep marching. Look! Oh, no! My 
sheet music. There it is. Catch it. Thanks, Caillou. I couldn't play without this. Caillou felt very proud that he helped Billy. Since the band has to march, and we're walking Caillou home, why don't we all march together? Well, what do you say, guys? We do have to practice marching and playing at the same time. Then let's go! Yay! And you two can play your horns. Caillou was excited to march all the way home with the band. Hello. Caillou, what's all this? We brought you some music, Daddy. It nearly got away, but I caught it. <laughs> Who's mooing? Caillou was excited because he was going on a picnic with his family. <laughs> We're going on a picnic. We're going on a picnic. Rosie is sleeping. Oh. Come on, let's get our seatbelts on because we're going on a picnic. <laughs> After a while of playing quietly, Caillou started to feel it was taking a very long time to get to the picnic. Are we there yet, Mommy? It's still a little bit further, sweetie. <coughs> Mommy, look! Cows! Can we go see the cows? Can we? What do you say we have our picnic right over there? Sure, why not? Caillou had not seen cows very often. He was excited to see them up close. Hi, cows. Moo! <laughs> Moo! <laughs> Look who's awake. Rosie wanted to watch the cows like Caillou did, but it was difficult to climb. Need a hand, Rosie? Up you go. I want to go up, too. Okay. What are the cows saying? I think in their own special way, they're saying hello. Caillou loved watching the cows. Rosie hungry. Well then, time for lunch. Take your time, Caillou. We've got all afternoon. I want to go see the cows some more. Just a minute. I'll go with you. I'll bring along your plane. We can play later. Rosie, do you want to go see the cows with Mommy? <laughs> okay, just finish your apple first. Caillou, can I try your airplane? Okay. Hooray! Good, Daddy. I'll get it. Thank you, Daddy. Yay! Honest, I was just leaving. Goodbye. Be careful! There! Thanks. That was close. Phew. Anybody thirsty? I have a special treat. It was one of Caillou's favorites. Chocolate milk. How do you like it, Caillou? <laughs> Moo! <laughs> What's this? It means I love it. Moo! <laughs> Me too! Moo! <laughs> Follow that sound. One snowy evening, Grandma was having a visit with Caillou and Rosie. Eh. Honk! Honk! <laughs> vroom! Vroom! Does your vroom. nose honk, Rosie? Honk! Honk! Vroom! 
What was that? Maybe it's a monster. Uh-oh. Caillou knew there wasn't really a monster, but it was fun to imagine one. Oh, I don't think a monster could fit under there. The snowplow! Caillou loved the snowplow and all the neat sounds it made. Vroom, vroom. And all the clowns danced out of the circus tent, ready for the big parade. There's that squeaky sound again! But now it's squeaking and thumping, and it's coming from over there. Maybe it's a dinosaur! I'll go check. Caillou was imagining he was following the tracks of a dinosaur. Well, hello there. I'm following a dinosaur, Mommy. And it's down there. Maybe Daddy can help you. You have company coming. Good luck. Caillou couldn't hear the squeaky sound anymore. But then he heard another sound. Did you hear that squeaky sound, Daddy? You mean the drill? Was it sandpaper? Was it my hammer? It's that sound! Now the sound went squeak and rattle, rattle. It sounds like it's moving upstairs. You'd better go and check. And with that, Caillou ran upstairs to follow that sound. He didn't know where to look next. But then he heard some very familiar sounds down the hall and knew just who to ask. <laughs> Have you found your dinosaur yet? Dinosaur? I thought it was a monster. It could be a spaceship. A monster, a dinosaur, a spaceship? What kind of sound could that be? Come on, follow me. Caillou couldn't believe it. There wasn't anybody in his room but Gilbert. How could Gilbert have been making such a strange sound? Why, that's one of Rosie's old baby toys. Gilbert must have got it out of the bath toy pail. Well, now we know what squeaks and rattles and thumps, don't we, Caillou? Gilbert! Gilbert. Music box. Caillou? Mommy! How did you get all tangled up in my coat? I don't know. <laughs> what are you doing, Mommy? I'm gonna put uh, all these things up in the attic. I'll help you. Okay. You carry this hat. Thank you, Caillou. Caillou liked coming to the attic because it was full of surprises. Look, Mommy. I'd completely forgotten about those. This was my music box when I was little. Caillou liked the music that came out of the music box. And this was my favorite bear. The bear has a hole in its head. You want to help me fix it? Hmm. There. Now he's a pirate bear. Caillou found that the bear was more fun since the music box didn't play music anymore. Was the music box playing? I want to play with the music box. Mine. You want this? No. You want my pirate ship? No. 
you can play with my pirate bear if you want. Rosie really liked the bear, so she decided to let Caillou have the music box in exchange. Now that the music box had stopped playing, Caillou wanted his bear back. Here, Rosie, you can play with the music box. No! I want my pirate bear! Mine! What's going on? I want my bear back. The music box is broken. Let me see the music box. Look, if you turn this key and open the music box, it starts playing. Why don't you and Rosie take turns playing with it? Caillou was not happy taking turns. He wanted to play with the music box and the bear. <laughs> oh, what have we here? Oh, pirates. Have you found a treasure? It's the music box. Pirate Bear is guarding it. Okay. Caillou and Rosie had decided to play pirates together. Daddy! My daddy shows me how to do lots of neat stuff. We like skating, except it's not that easy at first. Whoa! And sometimes daddy acts silly. <laughs> but he always knows how to take care of us. When I grow up, I want to be just like my daddy. to be a big boy. I'm just a kid who's four. Each day I grow some more. I like exploring. I'm Caillou. So many things to do. Each day is something new. I'll share them with you. I'm Caillou. My world is turning, changing each day. With Mommy and Daddy, I'm finding my way. Growing up is not so tough. Disappearing carrots. Teddy is hungry, Mommy. Rosie hungry, too. It's not quite ready. You'll have to wait a few more minutes. One minute, two minutes, three minutes. Is it ready now? Ready now? How about you go get two carrots from the garden? I'll prepare them into bunny carrots to munch while you're waiting. Yay! Bunny, bunny carrots! Caillou and Rosie went out to the vegetable garden where the carrots were growing. Bunny carrots! Caillou had picked carrots before and knew they were ready to be picked. This one! Then it was Rosie's turn to get a bunny carrot. Pull hard! Rosie, Mommy has to wash them first. Because it was such a nice day, Mommy decided they should eat their lunch outside. Hey, you two need to wash those hands before you eat. Off you go. <coughs> K 
Caillou couldn't find his bunny carrots anywhere. He wondered what had happened to them. Gone! I can't find them. This is very strange. I guess it's a mystery. The case of the disappearing carrots. <sighs> I'll pick some more for you. Caillou was really puzzled. Where could those carrots have gone? Mommy! Mommy! A rabbit! There's a rabbit! He has a carrot! Really? This way! Are you sure it was a rabbit? Yes! A little white rabbit! There it is! Aww. You were! <laughs> Maybe the rabbit will come back. Caillou thought he spotted the rabbit's white tail in the garden. But there was no rabbit. Ellie! Caillou was so disappointed. He thought that he would never see that little white bunny again. Then he felt something pulling on his carrot. Look, Mommy! Oh, my goodness, it is a rabbit! Bunny! I told you I saw him. Oh. Be careful, <laughs> he doesn't know you. Snowball. So this is where you're hiding. Is this your rabbit, Mr. Hinkle? No, it's mine. I'm Nancy. I'm visiting my brother here, and somehow Snowball escaped from his cage. We've been looking everywhere for this little Bunny! guy. Would you like to pat Snowball? Oh, well, I guess that solves the case of the disappearing carrots. And I found a lost bunny. Caillou <laughs> 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 oh, marches on. I'm ready, Daddy. Thank you, Caillou. Caillou liked the sound of the wind in the leaves. Okay, let's go. It's such a nice day, I thought I'd walk you over to Clementine's instead of taking the car. Hi there, Caillou. Hi. Hello. Okay, Caillou, I'll see you at dinner time. Bye. Clementine is playing in her room. Why don't you go up and surprise her? But when he got to the top of the stairs, Caillou heard an unusual sound. What could it be? Oh, Clementine! <laughs> what is Billy doing? Billy's practicing on his tuba, so we have to be very quiet. Caillou and Clementine tried really hard not to make any noise. <laughs> hey, Caillou, come on in. I bet you've never seen a tuba before. Sure! To play, I blow in here like this. Caillou was very impressed. <laughs> I want to try. Okay, but it's not as easy as it looks. <gasps> Caillou was frustrated that he couldn't make sounds like Billy. It takes a lot of practice to be a musician. I play in a marching band at school. My friends are on their way here to practice. A marching band? Oh, yes. I've seen them. They march around and they play music at the same time. Look, all the music notes are written on the paper. That way, I remember what to play. Caillou was very impressed that Billy could...